we have a pretty firm idea of who would be in this mix. Not just because we put this sat down the other day and, and did an internet search of available managers, but because over a number of years we've had a living document uh, of potential candidates. And you have the opportunity over the course of time to have certain conversations over the course of a season or in spring training and get a better feel for guys and then move them up or down that list. Uh, we felt that there was simply not going to be a chance that we were going to come out of an interview with somebody else and feel better about their ability to lead this club, their communication skills, this experience, baseball acumen, open-mindedness, uh, many of the importance of being the ability to teach, many of the things that we felt were important characteristics. Again, there's some quality candidates out there, and they, some of them might have been as good. We didn't feel any of them were going to wow us any more than Ricky had wowed us. And at the same time, there is a benefit to him already having these relationships with some of these players. He knows what they're about, he knows what buttons to push, he knows what buttons not to push, and the players have a healthy level of respect for him on day one. There's no learning curve here, so to speak. Again, regardless of the direction, we think he's capable of winning a World Series with the right personnel behind him. Because even if we do go to the extreme of tearing this thing down, so to speak, the goal is to get ourselves back to the World Series, and our hope is to do it with this manager. So we would not be hiring him if we didn't think he was capable of both extremes, so to speak. And if we did, for whatever reason, we were in the position where we're going for it in 2017, we think he's the right guy for that as well. Does, build, does building on this core necessarily mean spending big, or is it more spending wisely, you think? If that's the direction you choose. I mean, there is an economic element to it, yes. Uh, you saw this last offseason at the end. We made a couple of smaller moves as a means of trying to plug some of our holes, uh, some of which planned out a little better than others, some of which, once, the, once we suffered some injuries, uh, exposed some of our organizational depth issues that we knew were present, but we're hopefully we were going to be able to avoid from a, due to good luck and good health. Uh, if, you, if we were a little more aggressive, perhaps, if we were... Uh, from a standpoint of a full measure, so to speak, as opposed to arguably a half measure in a certain scenario, then conceivably the results would have been different. Now that player or players could just as easily have gotten hurt as sort of the more patchwork players that we added at the end, and then you'd be back in the same situation from a depth standpoint, an area we need to improve upon. Uh, but I do feel uh, certainly the, the, the notion of we're going to go for it in the next season or in the 2017 season is going to involve a, a level of economic commitment. Who will the market help determine which way you guys go? You know, uh, the market would likely, from one extreme, if you're talking about the standpoint of going for it, you certainly have to be aware of what's available in the free agent market. And this year's free agent market arguably is a little bit thinner than what we've seen uh, in the last couple of years and certainly much thinner than what you're going to see in a couple of years based on expiring contracts that are coming up. So that should be at least a consideration. But there's also trade possibilities and you have to understand what's possibly going to be available via trade, which is part of the market uh, when you're talking about going to that one extreme. Now you talk about going to the other in the terms of the rebuild. Uh, you certainly don't want to be in a position of underselling any of the very valuable pieces that we do have here, but you actually won't know what the true value of them are going to be until you continue to follow up on, on conversations that we've been having for the past, you know, well, frankly, several years about some of these guys and what their value is in the market. So yes, there is a market element to it. At the same time, uh, the direction of what's the quickest path to putting ourselves on a championship course has a little less to do with the market than it does about uh, being fully committed to going one of the two directions. Rick, 